Well, we've been hearing the promises for years. Development along the river downtown, but nothing's happened. Now, the promise of new parks along the river is closer to coming true. Right now, the Downtown Investment Authority is laying out its five-year plan for the area. Last night, a group of millennials helped get city council members on board. News for Jack's reporter Jim Piggott spoke with them and shows us now what the Downtown Investment Authority is working toward. So this is a special meeting tonight with the Downtown Investment Authority. They want to get your input on development plans for downtown over the next five years. Things such as the Emerald Trail, they got their whole master plan set up here. There are other programs set up, plans for what could be going in downtown. One thing that we heard a lot about is development along the riverfront. And last night, the city council gave their blessing to having parks in that area. From Sky 4, you can see the area we're talking about. From Metropolitan Park by the stadium up to the shipyard's property across from the jail to the landing site, which is now Riverfront Park. There have been plans drawn up, yet nothing has happened yet. But things are beginning to move. Last night, the city council approved a resolution to support park development along the downtown river. And that happened after a group of young people spoke to them during the meeting. I talked with several of them this afternoon about why they're passionate concerning this. It's nice to hear about the future of the city from the people that will be here. And um, with us being a group of young professionals, we are going to frequent the area a lot more. And some council members told me today that they were excited to hear what these young adults had to say, particularly some of their ideas. What we can look forward to in the next 10 years is to be able to walk from a great park at James Weldon Johnson, right from City Hall, down Laura Street to Riverfront Plaza, to a world-class destination park. But that won't happen if we don't put it in the budget. Part of why I think Met Park has failed and why, you know, James Wilden Johnson needs to be activated to have people come is that it's not connected to much other green space. But one big complaint about developing downtown has been safety. This group says building parks could change that. When people see women, people see children using a space, they feel that it's safer. And then guess what? More people come. And so that's why I think parks are such an important part of this. If we only put nightclubs downtown, is it going to feel safer? We want people using downtown spaces 365 days a year. And that means playgrounds, that means destination parks, that means sports fields. You know, I got to tell you, the DIA is hearing from a lot of people. Where I'm standing in right now is that meeting that we were showing you, where they are showing everything that is going to be taking place downtown, not only along the riverfront. And what they hope to gather from all of this is input when we heard what we just heard from those young adults, but input from everybody. And if you want to have a say, you can come downtown to the main library downtown up for about the next hour. They'll listen to you. They'll take your comments. They're going to put all of this together, take it to the full board later in the month, and then eventually to city council. You can learn a lot down here tonight. For now, we're live downtown. Jim Pickett, Channel 4, The Local Station.